Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy B-Dot back with another quick video. All right, my good people. I hope everybody's out there, man, being safe, man, staying out the way, getting your quarantine on as usual. I know I'm, I'm tired of this as well, man. We still going through it over here in California, just like everywhere else. Sitting in the crib, drinking brew is pretty much all I can do right now, man. Take a couple of pictures, that kind of stuff. Now, in today's video, as I've said in previous posts or previous videos before, I have been washing my beer like every day doing this COVID-19, man. I figure, hell, I'd rather wash my beard every day and whatever comes of that, whether my hair gets wiry or something happens to my beard, rather than get sick. If you guys have been following my journey, you will know that I've been using Arius Man since day one. And they were cool enough to send me out their new collection, which is called the Three Wood. They sent me out, this is the Three Wood Beard Wash right here. They also sent me out the Three Wood Beard Conditioner. This is also four ounce. And they sent me out the one ounce beard oil. This is also the three wood. Now they're definitely known for their green bottles, that green Heineken color green bottle. I love their bottles and I also love their oil because they use the castor oil and all of their beard oils. And I love castor oils for my thick and coarse beard. Castor oil is definitely one of the thicker carrier oils out there. Now let me throw on my sign from the sunglasses real quick and go to their Instagram page. I know what the stuff smells like, but I always forget the actual wording of it. Um, on their Instagram post, as you guys can see right here, if they focus, if there's the Instagram post right there of the three wood. This is a unique beer care line that packs a masculine punch. It features Hinoki wood, sandalwood, and oud wood, which hence the name three wood. Luxurious neroli, juniper berry, and balsam fir. Complete the scent profile for a unique scent unlike any other. So it's definitely a unique scent. Right off the bat, I totally picked up the wood, but I wasn't sure of which wood I was smelling. I know it smells sort of like sandalwood to me, and I thought maybe cedar. I'm feeling it, man. So far, so good. Just like their other scents. One of my favorite scents from them is the Midnight Ride. I have a couple bottles of that, the little sample bottles. And they also came out with a butter that I'm waiting on that to be delivered right now. That just came out, so I'll put all the links down below so you guys can go find the oil, the wash, and the conditioner, as well as the new butter that's coming out. So today, since I'm hanging around the crib, man, it's Sunday. I want to do a quick beard wash for you guys, do the whole little system for you with the wash, the conditioner, and the oil. And I'm going to do it right here in the bathroom sink. I've always told you guys I would just do it in the shower. But for the sake of the video and showing you guys how it lathers up and that kind of stuff, I'm going to do it right here in the sink. All right, guys, I just soaked my beard real good. As you guys can see, water dripping off. You really, really get a good lather from their beard wash. So I wanted to make sure I saturate my beard really well with water so you guys can see the full effect. Little flip top like this. And it comes out like your standard kind of beard wash. With about a quarter size amount. A little bit more if you need it. Rub it in. I get it worked in my hand really good first, even in the shower. Give it that little white look first. That way you know it's gonna hit in the beard the right way. You really get a good, a really good lather. Now it's about a quarter size amount. A little bit actually spilled down my hand, so I got that up too. So about a quarter and a half size amount. Probably don't need that much, but hell, look at that lather. Now I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out. Well, I'll tell you the stuff we'll do for a YouTube video. I just stuck my head in the shower so I can rinse off the wash in the shower. Got my whole shirt wet, sleeves all wet, like I'm in a wet t-shirt contest over here. But hey, I wanna show you guys how this stuff lather up, how it work, how it rinse out. As you guys can see, I just rinse it out. I actually bone dry right now, not bone dry as far as the water, but you can definitely feel that the wash definitely stripped everything that was in my beard, which is a good thing. That's what I wanted to do during this quarantine is strip out anything out of my beard. I don't care if it's oils, natural oils, whatever. I don't care. It's quarantine time. It's COVID-19. I don't want any of that stuff in my beard. So I'd rather just strip my beard. Now this is the three wood beard conditioner right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put about maybe a nice nickel size amount. As you guys can see, I can get it out first. It's about good right there. Now it's a pretty thick conditioner. As you can see, it's still on my hand. It's not running down fast at all. Like I've seen some conditioners that are really, really runny. And of course we all know about the 
thickest conditioner out there that I really like. So I'm gonna get that worked in. And with any beer conditioner, to a lot of new guys out here or ones that just don't know, you definitely wanna keep it in for at least five minutes. And um, one of my own little personal indicators that it's a good beer conditioner or that the beer conditioner is starting to work is that you start feeling a little oil around your lips. Now, I don't know if that's just me or not, if you guys ever realized that yourself or saw that for yourself, but you definitely start feeling a little oil right around your lips like chapstick almost. And to me, that's when I know I got a pretty good condition and beer conditioner. So, so get that worked in. I'm gonna leave it in for about five minutes. Sometime I'm in the shower, 15, 20 minutes, I might leave it in there for the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Just to get that extra, extra conditioning on my beard, you know, after I just stripped all the oils off from the beard wash. It's all worked in. You don't even see any white at all. If I was still in the shower, the water would still be hitting it. So you would still see the little white droplets in my beard. So it's definitely worked in. So I'm gonna let this sit in for about another four to five minutes and I'll be right back with you. I'm gonna have to go outside and dry off on this nice, hot, sunny day here in California. About 72 degrees outside, you guys can see the shirt, man. Like I didn't jump in the shower with the shirt on. And all I did was stick my head in there and do it like this and water just running all on the floor right here. This is for you guys. Messed my whole in the craft shirt up on that one. And by the way, man, I'm still doing the in the craft sale right now. So definitely follow the links down below. Go to my Instagram page or go to my Etsy account on my in the craft Instagram page. Pick you up one of these in the crafts, beer shirt, San Diego. Established 2020. We're doing them right now for 30% off. You use the code CRAFT30. I'll put it right here on the screen. You get 30% off your purchase plus free shipping. So you're getting a shirt for about 13, 14 bucks, man, during this time, man. So that's definitely a good way to give back to you guys. Definitely appreciate all you guys' support. So now we're going to go ahead and just pick out the beard. I just wash the conditioner out. As you guys can see. I haven't lined it up or anything like that in about a week now. Since the last video. I'm not really doing anything today, so I might get to it sometime this week or tomorrow. Now it's pretty dry, it's not bone dry. It's a few little water, little droplets here and there. But it's dry enough for me to apply my beard oil. So I'm gonna to go to the three wood beard oil, the one ounce. Again, links will all be down below. I think I do have a discount code as well. Maybe a dime size amount. Well, that's about a nickel size amount. It's definitely a thicker oil. You want to work that all the way down to the skin, if possible. That slogan of getting the beard oil down to your skin, if you can do it, you can do it. But when you have a long beard or a coarse beard, it's, you know, just common sense alone kind of tell you that it's going to be hard to get every little piece of oil down to the skin of your beard because it's going to be hair in the way, you know. So really when people say that, it's just do your best to massage the beard oil into your beard. And some of it may touch your skin, some of it won't. Some of it will just coat the hairs. Pick through it one more again. There you have it guys, that's pretty much what I do every single day. Not necessarily with this product, but with any product that you have, just get you a beer wash, a beer conditioner, and any type of beer oil that you have. Not what I do after all the beer wash, conditioner, applying your oil, that kind of stuff. I go back and just grab me a little thumbnail of butter, then I'll apply the butter right after that. So just grab your favorite butter that you have around the house, whatever. Uh, I'm not really using beer balm right now, as you guys know. So get about a thumbnail amount of butter. And sometimes I'll just try to get this into the beard or just layer it right on top. Make sure you get the bottom of the beard as well. Mustache. And then come back right through it with the pick again. Metal pick, this is what I use. Use what you got, use what you like to use. 
pick that all out good. And there you have it, man. I'm pretty much good to go for the day now. Boris hair bristle brush. Get the mustache going the way I want it to go. Over to the sides. Get them eyebrows. And I'm good to go. So again, this was the Artist Man new scent, the three wood. This is the three wood beard wash, which comes in a four ounce. The three wood beard conditioner, also a four ounce. And then you got your three wood beer oil, which comes in a one ounce. And again, this is that castor oil that I love to use in my texture of beer. So if you guys got the same kind of texture I got, you probably will love this artist, man. As always, man, thanks for all the continued support, man. I want you guys to stay safe out there, man, during this pandemic that's going on. And thanks for all the continued support. Continue to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. And I'll holler back. Peace.